Today you're going to learn how to use semicolons, and I'm going to teach you through a song that I wrote called, most creatively and most originally called, The Semicolon Song. So, uh, actually I should change the name, I think I will right now, to the, to Mr. Semicolon Song. Mr. Because I refer to the semicolon as a he, so I'm going to call it Mr. Semicolon Song. Go ahead and write that um, on page four. We're going to turn to page four, everybody, and you're going to write this as your heading, Mr. Semicolon Song. Remember, with titles, you, set, you capitalize the first word and the last word, and then any big words in the middle. That's how you remember. It's a song, so you put it in quotes. Song titles go in quotes, they are not underlined. And everybody with me on page four, you are going to write the first line. Please do not write this all jumbled. When I go to the next line, make sure you go to the next line, okay? There was a semicolon, go ahead and write that. There was a semicolon, semicolon is one word, semicolon. And then put a colon actually, because I'm about to list what a semicolon is. So put two dots, there was a semicolon, and then you're going to write a comma and a dot. And then you're going to write a semicolon right here. Because that's what it is. It's a comma and a dot, right? Next line. Don't capitalize because I want you to see what comes after a semicolon. It's not capitalized. He, meaning Mr. Semicolon, he separated clauses that were independent thoughts. He separated clauses that were independent thoughts, period. Double check how you spelled separated. It is very commonly misspelled. It's A-R in the middle, not E-R, S-E-P-A-R. Separated clauses that were independent thoughts. So what's an independent clause? Well, I'm gonna answer it. An independent clause is one completed thought. So line three. An independent clause is one completed thought. Go ahead and write that. You might have to pause this along the way because I might be moving too fast for your fingers to write. But keep going. An independent clause is one completed thought. Stop there, look at how you spelled independent. Another commonly misspelled word. There's lots of E's in independent, but no A's. So I N and then a bunch of E's. D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Independent, okay? He separated clauses that were independent th thoughts. What is an independent clause? An independent clause is one completed thought. Okay, comma, next line, and two, two independent clauses are separated with a comma and a dot, with a semicolon. So, and two are separated, check your spelling, with a comma and a dot. Are you there, are you there, right faster, right faster? and two are separated with a comma and a dot. Next line. Example one. Wrong, and then next line. <laughs> example one, put a little colon, I'm gonna list the example, here it is. Ron hit John in the face. And then write a semicolon, which is a comma and a dot. Okay, so Ron hit John in the face, and then write a semicolon. And then in parentheses, I actually want you to write the word semicolon. Because it's a song and we're going to be saying the word semicolon right here, if you just put this symbol when you're singing your song, you're not going to say anything. So you need to write out semicolon so that we actually say that word. Ron hit John in the face, semicolon. Consequently, that means as a result, consequently, John's face is blue and swollen. Can you read over my head? Consequently, that means as a result, comma, John's face is blue and swollen. Swollen, S-W-O-L-L-E-N, swollen. Double check my students. Make sure you have an apostrophe S on John. Remember, face belongs to John. It's not John face. It's John's face, okay? It's blue and swollen. Next line. Are you getting a clue? Question mark. Well, here's example two. Okay, so if you need to pause to write that, are ya getting a clue, question mark, next line. Well, here's example two. That's the first part of the semicolon song. It's actually a lot longer than that, but today we're just gonna work on the first half. It's pretty easy. <coughs> At this point, whatever you 
haven't finished, I'd like you to go back and make sure you have. So pause it, rewind, get what you need, because I'm moving on, okay? So, the semicolon song, Mr. Semicolon song. Um, it's to the tune of, you know, when you're little, the Barney song, like, that's all I know. I'm sure it's in other songs. It's like, da 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 That song, that's the one, okay? So get that tune in your head. I'm going to be singing and I'm totally sick, so if I can do it, you definitely can do it. Because this is like, you know, on YouTube, which is not um, exciting for me. But hey, you're learning, so here we go. And <laughs> this is how it goes. There was a semicolon, a comma, and a dot. He separated clauses that were independent thoughts. What's that? An independent clause is one completed thought. And two are separated with a comma and a dot. And then you say this part. Example one. Ron hit John in the face, semicolon. Consequently, John's face is blue and swollen. Are you getting the clue? Well, here's example two. All right, from the top. Here we go. You say the first part, or sorry, you sing the first part, and you say the second part. So there was a semicolon, a comma, and a dot because that's what it is. It's a comma with the dot. And what does he do? He separates clauses. It's, that's his job. He separated clauses. What kind of clauses? Independent clauses that were independent thoughts. But what's an independent clause? Third line. An independent clause is one completed thought and two completed thoughts, two, are separated with a semicolon, a comma, and a dot. And then I see examples. Notice, semicolon. Conjunctive adverb, right? Big word, comma, and then another independent clause right here. Okay, so here we go. Sing with me, my friends, from the top. And, now that you've heard it, <laughs> and there was a semicolon, a comma, and a dot. What's it do? He separated clauses that were independent thoughts. What's that? An independent clause is one completed thought, and two, and two are separated with a comma and a dot. Example one, Ron hit John in the face, semicolon, consequently John's face is blue and swollen. Are you getting the clue? Well, here's example two. All right, from the top, now that you've heard it twice, you better be singing the third time, okay? From the top, and there was a semicolon, a comma and a dot. He separated clauses that were independent thoughts. An independent clause is one completed thought, and two are separated with a comma and a dot. Example one. Ron hit John in the face, semicolon. Consequently, John's face is blue and swollen. Are you getting the clue? Well, here's example two. That's what you need to memorize today. It's an easy job. You don't have to write it a ton, right? You need to memorize it. Say it over and over. Watch this over and over if that will help you hear it. But you need to have it memorized by tomorrow because we're moving on and there's more to this song. Okay? Good luck.